Hello, I'm Carl with the Frugal Berry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some liquid Castile soap from a bar of hard Castile soap. We do this by mixing the soap with some water and gushing it around in a Ziploc bag. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that in this video. Here we go. Now the first thing that we're going to need is our scale here as a gallon size Ziploc bag. I'm going to put the bag on there and zero out the scale. And right now we've got zero on that. So I'm going to open this bag up and put our bar of soap in here. Put that back on our scale and we have 4.8 ounces. And we take that 4.8 and we multiply it by 4 and we come up with 19.2 ounces. So we're going to take our Ziploc bag, we're going to stick it inside a bowl here actually, just as a precaution. So we don't get, in, in case there's any leaks with the, with the bag, which very rarely happens, but I just like to have it in a bowl for caution anyway. Uh, so now we're going to zero out our scale again, and we've got zero. Now we're going to be looking for 19.2 ounces of, now this is distilled water here that I'm using. 19.2, 17, 18, 19.2, perfect, okay. So, now we've got our soap floating in our bag of liquid, uh, of, uh, of distilled water here. And we're just going to zip this close and set this aside. And every day for the next four days, I'm going to be taking this bag and I'm going to be massaging this bar of soap in the liquid here. And over the next four or five days, we should have in this bag a, uh, a nice uh, a nice thick uh, liquid soap in here. Uh, and I'll show you that in the next uh, little bit. Okay, it's now been two days. Unfortunately, I forgot to uh, massage this yesterday. Uh, as you can see the first couple days it looks kind of discouraging. You say what in the world what kind of a mess have I made here. Uh, but I promise it will change over the next couple days. So uh, all we do is we take this through the bag and massage the soap a little bit and get all that all the all the soap glob off of the off the outside of the bar and that's it just let that sit back in our in our bowl again and hopefully if I don't forget I will uh, show you tomorrow doing the same thing so this is day four once again I missed day three uh, but as you can see We've got some soap here that's almost the consistency of dish soap. Um, and just a little bit of bar soap left in there. I'm just going to take my fingers and gush that around a little bit more. And now this soap can be used as a, as a dish soap. It can be used as a shampoo. Uh, and however, however, you can use it as a hand soap in your uh, in your hand soap dispenser. <clears throat> now, uh, of course, there's two ways you can uh, you can get this out of here. One, you can unzip the one side and pour it out that way. What I sometimes do is take a pair of scissors, snip the corner stick it inside whatever container that I want to uh, transfer it into and just make it work like its own funnel pour it right in that way and it works perfectly so uh, again I'm Carl with the Frugalberry 
Thanks for watching. Hope this is uh, useful to you. And if you have any questions, you can post them in comments below. And there's also a link below to frugalberry.com where I'll have more information about this. Thanks for watching.